Hello everyone, I'm Luke Rains. <laughs> I'm Kelsey Sullivan, and, and you're, you're watching, watching The Sting. This week, the middle school will be putting on their performance of The Littlest Mermaid, which will begin playing Thursday, November 9th, and will be shown the 10th and 11th. Also, we'd like to give a big thanks to News Channel 2 for the mobile news desk. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. And for some last minute exciting news, our very own Darius James got nominated for Mr. Football. So wish him luck that he gets it. And for the rest of sports, here's Tannis. Thank you, Luke and Kelsey. Welcome to Sports with Tannis. I'm Tannis Beek. And welcome to basketball season. On the 14th, we have our first home game and our first game of the season. It's going to be against Marshall County at 6 o'clock. So welcome to basketball. Let's get a W. On the 16th, we have a game against Kolioka, and it's also going to be at 6 o'clock. So uh, let's support our basketball team and get a W. And we have bowling on the 14th. It's going to be against Franklin at the Franklin Lanes at 3.30 and against Ravenwood on the 16th at the Tusculum Lanes also at 3.30. Thank you, Luke and Kelsey. Back to you guys. Thank you, Tannis. And now here are some lunchtime interviews. How many senators are there? Senators? There should be a hundred senators. What is the name of the national anthem? Star Spangled Banner. Oh, okay. Can you sing it for us? Oh, say no, I'm not singing. <laughs> Do you want to sing it for us? Oh, say can you see. What year did we declare freedom? Freedom year. All right, what month do we vote for president? Month we vote for president? November. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Can you sing it? <clears throat> How many senators are there? Enough. Uh, what were the first ten amendments to the Constitution called? Bill of Rights. When was the Constitution written? On Constitution Day. All right, thank you, A.B. <laughs> hey, Coach Hughes. Hey, How do you feel about winning the first round of playoffs and going into the second round? Well, it's always exciting when you can keep the season going. So we get to play this week against Giles, who's been a – a big nemesis to us, but that win last week against a good strapper team was really good for our team going in, and we're just trying to go one week at a time and keep playing. So how do you feel about the season as a whole? Um, I think we made a lot of improvement. If you look at us against Paige, we're a lot better football team right now than we were then. So I feel like the kids have bought in, and we've gotten better and better and better, and it always feels like right when I get a team where, we, where I want them and where I think we've got it, then the season's over. So, but well, we're good. We're, I'm, I'm real happy with it. How, Good. How do you? What do you think that we can like improve on? Um, we have to do really just our focus and our intensity and our excitement and our alignment, assignment, knowing what to do, and which they do at this point. But when you've been going at it for like 16 weeks, you kind of hit a wall. So it's just getting that energy and that focus back and saying, look, every Friday night could be your last game. Like I've got 16 seniors that could say, this is the last time I put cleats on at Prairie High. So um, I think if we just play with energy and effort and we come out and do like we do, that we'll be fine and keep playing. Well, hopefully they improve on those for the game on Friday. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. So much class. I heard that you won a pretty big award this year. Yes, that's true. I won Teacher of the Year Award. So, um, what's a little bit of backstory behind you? Like, what all do you do around this school to help with kids and to win this award? Well, I teach two AP classes. I teach AP Human Geography and AP U.S. History, and I also am Student Council co-sponsor. I also um, am the Model UN and Youth in Government sponsor, and I also do History Bowl as well. Um, and then last year I also was in charge of the Fairview One summer program as well. That's a lot on your plate. Do you ever get like tired or worn out about it? I do. I usually crash on the weekends. <laughs> so um, with all your AP classes, you must be pretty smart. Is that true to say? Um, fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Are there any students in your class that you uh, particularly admire with their work and effort? All of my students are wonderful. They all have different um, strengths and abilities, but they're all wonderful and they all continue to impress me every day. Okay, well thank you. Back to you guys. 
Congratulations, Miss Penny and Miss Klaus on your awards, and congratulations to Coach Hughes for his amazing football season, and good luck on tonight's game. This week, our pet of the week is Chubb. He is an English bulldog, and he's deaf, so he knows how to use sign language, That's which is really amazing. really cool. <laughs> he is Lauren Martell's dog, and he is so cute. He's so cute. Um, thank you all for watching. I'm Luke Rains. I'm Kelsey Sullivan, and, and this, this has, has been, been The Sting. Sting. Hi, I'm Lila Tivers here in our brand new auditorium. This past weekend from the 2nd through the 5th, The Tempest was performed here. It was an amazing production with a great turnout. So Jenna, if I'm correct, you went and saw The Tempest this weekend? Yes, I went Friday night. So what was your favorite part? Um, probably the part with the ship and the storm. I just thought it was really well put together and it had a cool ambience about it. So seeing this play, does this encourage you to join any thespian society or maybe like have a stronger interest in the arts? It, yeah, it brought light to, I guess, the theater program for me because I didn't know they were that involved. I thought that was really cool and I thought maybe I'd want to try out for Beauty and the Beast or something, maybe. <laughs> well, thank you for being in our interview. I hope your auditions go well. Thank you.